Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video, we sent the mail when we create a new post. So here when we, let's register and create new post. When we create, we sent a new mail to this user. We use that uh, mailtrap.io for testing, but the idea is so when we create new posts, it's going to take some time because it's going to send that mail here. Okay, that is okay, but we can do better. What we want to do is in this video, that when we create a new post, that post is going to be created immediately. And then on the background, I want to send the email. And how we can do that? Using a job. So let's open the terminal and let's create a new job. I'm going to zoom in this, open the terminal. And here I'm going to say PHP artisan or art in my case make colon job and give it the name so i'm going to name it a uh, send new post mail job okay hit enter you can name it what you like now the job inside the app jobs and with that name created successfully good if we open that so send new post mail job we have here two methods create a new job instance and the handle to execute the job. So here when we have to execute the job, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to post controller and instead of sending the email on the post controller, I'm going to cut this and move to the handle method on the job. So the job is going to send now the mail. We just need to execute the job. So first let's import the mail on the job and also the post mail. Now here we have the auth user email, but uh, instead of this one, I'm going to on the construct, I'm going to say public array dollar sign incoming. We're going to put here the email and then in here we can say just dollar sign this incoming and get the email also the name instead of hard coded i'm going to put on the construct of when we call this send new post mail job and just say dollar sign this incoming uh, name and the same thing for the title so dollar sign uh, this incoming title so we need to add the email a uh, name and the title when we call this send new post mail job okay so right now we created the send new post mail job but if we say if we create a new post nothing is going to happen because we need to somehow execute this job or dispatch and we have a helper method, a dispatch from Laravel. Okay, and here now we need to put a new send, a new post mail. And in here now we need to add the incoming data, which is email, name, and the title. Okay, so let's do that. Let's add an array with the email. And the email is going to be auth user email. Okay. Then the name. We have hard coded that to Tony, but for now I'm going to use the auth username. And the last one is the title. So let's say title to be plus unvalidated title. Okay, we need to import this. So send new post mail job. Good. Import that. And of course, we don't need now the post mail in here. Okay, so remove that here and also the mail facade. And we are okay. So we dispatch that. But right now, 
if we just go and try so if i refresh open also here the, and i'm going to clean the emails so oh, no emails in here let's go and create a new post and see what is going to happen open store yeah the post immediately created but we don't have the mail here so we can refresh and no mail yeah we dispatched the job here we created the job but nothing is going to happen if we open the table plus we have here jobs and if we refresh on the jobs table we have a new job as you can see the GUI is uh, default we have a payload and so on we need somehow to tell Laravel to work with these jobs and how we can do that first if I open the .env file we have here queue connection to database and you may have that the sync so if I leave the sync and let's go and create a new post okay so change the queue connection to sync save on the .env file and let's create a new post now on the jobs table we have only one job as you can see if we say store it's going to take some time because it's going to send it's going to execute that job and then yeah we have the email here on the database we have only one what we had before so the job works but we want the immediately to create a post and then on the background to send that job so for that we use here database instead of sync and on the terminal now if i open the terminal we can call the php artisan q colon work work and hit enter as you can see immediately is going to send a new post mail job is going to listen for that it's as you can see running and then now is done after two seconds if we see now if i refresh yeah the jobs has no job in it because one we had and that is being executed now if i open the mail see we have here a mail let's clean this so right now we don't have any job any sorry any mail here also we don't have any job on the database jobs table let's go and try to create a new post let's use fake filler choose uh, image and you can see immediately is going to create the post and on the background is going to run that job and send the mail so let's say yeah the post is created immediately and then the mail is being sent okay because we use that php artisan queue work and we use the database queue connection okay this is what we want we want to immediately create the post don't wait for the email to be sent when we create the post so the email is going to be executed from the job on the background one more time let's try create a post store immediately created and then after some seconds the email is going to be sent through the job okay friends that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you how we can use a job create a job and execute that job and create a post and behind the scenes on the background we send that email now if you like such videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much